Oh, oh no. Babe, I need some toilet paper. Here you go. No, 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 not that one. Here you go. Well, that's a little bit better. Um, that's getting close. I guess this one I'll just have to work. Hey everybody. Have you ever found yourself walking around the store looking at all these different kinds of toilet paper? Well, hopefully we're going to determine which one is the best for one, dissolvability. Two, the poke test. Two, the most important one, number two. <laughs> and number three, softness. Let's see what we come up with. Because we only want the best for your perfect little peach. Thetford Aqua Soft. Freedom Living 2 ply toilet paper. Brente. This is a 3 ply toilet paper. Now we have Star Bright. Next up is Kimco 1 ply. Followed by Fire Belly. And last up, we have Scott Rapid Dissolving Toilet Paper. And because there's some glue on this, I'm going to just take it off and start with the next one. So as you can tell, they're all about the same amount of water. They've all been labeled, so we're good to go. I think because of the size of my containers, I'm just going to do like two slices of toilet paper each. So it is currently 3.32, I don't know if you can see that or not. So I'm going to let them sit for about an hour and then I'll check back in and see how they're like dissolving. Currently 4.30, kind of see, maybe, there you go. So it's been just short of an hour but I'm going to go ahead and test it just so I don't like forget and lose track of time. Alright, we're going to start with the Freedom Living. I think that's what it was called. So I can still pretty much pull the whole thing up out, so I wouldn't say it's really dissolved. Moving on to the Scott. Same thing. Whole thing. Just pulled it right out. Put it back in there. Move over to the Star Bright. And same result. Over to the fire belly. Same. And the green tay. I mean, a chunk fell off when I pulled it up, but for the most part, it just fully came out. We have that bird. Whole chunk came out. And the Camco. By far, this one is dissolving the most. I can't pick up the whole sheet. Kind of broke in half. So... Good morning. Don't mind me and my disheveled appearance. I literally just got up. Um, I never gave you guys an update last night, so it's currently like 8 o'clock the next day. So it's been in here for like 12 hours, 10 hours. I can do the math for you. Um, but we're going to check about and see what they're looking like. I think I'll leave them in there until probably s tomorrow. 
we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so we have Freedom Living, and you can tell now that it's starting to kind of fall apart, but I can still pick up pretty much the big piece. We have the Scott's Rapid Dissolving, and it is still like bigger pieces, but it's not one giant piece, so it is coming apart. And we have the Star Bright, and I can pretty much still pick up the entire piece if I wanted to. Then we have the fire belly. And I can pick up the entire piece. Like it doesn't even look like it's, oh, two pieces now. But it doesn't even look like it's trying to dissolve. So that's probably not your best option if you're worried about a clog. We have the Grinte three ply one. And it is starting to dissolve. There's still some pretty big chunks though. We have Fetford. That. I think it's a two ply, but literally, this one is made for RVs by like a really big company. And look, it's just a single piece. There's nothing trying to dissolve there. And then we have Camco, and this one is pretty much just little chunks. It's pretty much dissolved. So if you're all about that one ply life, Camco is probably not too bad. It's been about 48 hours since we started our experiment. I'm gonna go ahead and give you an update as to all of them. My check-ins haven't really been the best, but they are accurate. I haven't touched these, I haven't messed with them. Um, so it kind of gives you like a long period of time of which one's going to dissolve better. And that'll be the end of like this portion and I have a few other little experiments that I wanna do, um, but we'll do those a little bit later. We have Freedom Living. You can still grab the whole chunk out of there, but Looks like it's starting to break up. Still pretty chunky for it being 48 hours. Now we have the Scott's Rapid Dissolve. If you grab a big enough chunk, you can pick it all up, but for the most part, it's doing pretty good. We have Star Bright. Do not <laughs> buy this one. It hasn't dissolved at all inside the cup. And I'm literally picking up the entire chunk. Like, it's not dissolved at all compared to, like, the Scots and the Freedom Living. Next up, we have the Fire Belly. And same thing. I can pretty much pick up the entire thing. Not dissolving at all. Would not recommend this one or this one. We have the Grinte. Which, surprisingly enough, it's breaking up when you pull on it, but it, in the container it still looks like a giant white glob, which everything does. Next we have Thetford. Same thing, not really dissolving. Wouldn't recommend. And Camco. Which, this one is... I can't even pick up a chunk of it. <laughs> so that one's fully dissolved. But <laughs> Okay, so for our poke test, obviously I can't show you guys the real process. So what I'm going to- You know what we're talking about. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray this. I have it secured around with dental floss because I didn't get rubber bands. <laughs> so. Unprepared as always. I'm going to spray it so there's like a little bit of wetness to it and then I'm going to stack some coins on it and we'll see whichever one has the most money on it is the strongest. Don't put your money on weak toilet paper. You don't want to, you don't want to come out of there with, you know, dirty fingernails. Better a skid mark than a blowout. Fire belly, four nickels. The other one, seven nickels. Next we have Freedom Living and Thetford. Mm -hmm. 
I'm surprised that one did better than this one. I know, this one ripped the first time. Well, <laughs> Let her rip. <laughs> so, it ripped when we were trying to tie it on, so I put a new one on, but. That one was four. That one was six. Next up is Scott, the rapid dissolve one. And we have Starbright. Strong competition over here. Dang. I think that one's definitely the winner for strongest. I think so. Scott, we have a 10. Dang. Star Bright, we had six. The last one we're gonna do is Camco. We kind of saved this one for last just because we feel like, or I feel like, that's like the most known brand of RV poop products because they make hoses and everything else. So. And this is the ultra soft one, by the way. <laughs> well. Wow. <laughs> this one is a disaster know. waiting to happen. I guess, I guess we know where that one falls. Major slip zone. Excuse me. Thank you. So over walking over the dogs. Okay, sorry uh, the lighting's a little harsh. It's getting there, it's adjusting, but... The sun's actually out for once, which is, you know... Mind-blowing. Which is nice. So, we're going to... Obviously, softness is like a personal preference, so... Some people might like it, you know... A little more grit. Some people might like it a little more plush. I'm somewhere in the middle. But so we're just kind of kind of go over each of them, see which ones we like, and then I'm going to put them in order of like best to worst. Or softest to roughest. 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 First up is Grin Tay. I also don't understand why the hole for it is so small, but it is like teeny. It's like the smallest little hole. This one's it's a sturdy roll. Yeah, it is. It's the thickest, too. That's three ply. Yeah. But it's tough to rip. Like. Yeah, it's. It's. Rip factor is. Strong. It's pretty good. It's pretty soft. Yeah, it's not bad. The only thing that I do have to say, because we have used this one, is once it gets a little bit wet, it just rips instantly. Thetford. That one's. That one's pretty. pretty it's really soft. Pretty supple. But it's so like it, yeah. You go when you tear it, it doesn't tear at the perforations, it just, it just rips, it just rips the whole paper, yeah. But it's soft, it's soft, okay. Next up is Fire Belly. This one's also pretty soft, mm, not yeah. terrible. It's like in the middle, it's definitely. It mm. feels more supple than the Grinte does, and a little more coarse than the Thetford. And it rips pretty good. It's a solid rip. Freedom Living. It was all... I couldn't see what it said because it was rubbed off there. I spilled water on it. This one's pretty soft, too. Yeah, it's soft. It tears pretty good. Nice ripability. Next up we have Starbright. Good rip. Not soft. Not soft. It feels like gas station or like... Like half ply. It's like road stop toilet paper is what it feels like. <laughs> 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 or like porter potty where like you... My construction worker people out there, that, that porter john paper. That's what that feels like. That's what that feels like. <laughs> I know you know that I know... <laughs> What, what? It's like a straight up piece of cotton paper is what it feels like. Yeah. Okay, so next up we have Scott Rapid Dissolving. I have to say I'm kind of biased. This is like my favorite. Yeah. It's soft. It's, it is. And it feels like normal toilet paper and it's got a good rip. Right. Maybe not the highest on the list for, you know, black tank uh, usage. Guess we'll find out. But and then last, last is... Camco. Camco. This one is 
overall squishiness. I think there's less, there's a lot less on a roll. Oh, for sure. Obviously, I mean, you can, this is the Camco. But it's, it's pretty nice. It's available, which is nice what available like you can get it pretty much anywhere yeah it's super thin though hold on hold it up you want to do karate in the garage yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so i'm gonna put them in order and we're gonna go over it. softest what we think this is just our opinion this is not a paid promotion you know but any toilet paper companies want to hook us up you know. Scott's got to dissolve. We get some good use out of this stuff. <laughs> Softest, the coarsest, whatever you want to call it. Um, number one, we in our book, Scott. It's strong. It held up ten nickels, yep. and it dissolves. Yep. Second, fire belly. It held up. Uh, not the greatest, but it's pretty soft. Mm -hmm. Only four nickels on that one. But it doesn't dissolve. It does not dissolve. Third, Freedom, what if, whatever you're Freedom saying. Living. Yeah, Freedom Living, thank you. Six nickels, so it holds up pretty good, and it does dissolve. Next, Green Tay, Gren Tay, seven nickels. That's, you know, that's second on strength. And it dissolves. That's about middle of the road mm -hmm. for softness. We but think. it's very expensive. Is it? Yeah. Camco. <sighs> Just sorry. One nickel does dissolve. Not strong. But at what 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 risk? Yeah. <laughs> Do you risk it for the biscuit? Thetford. Four nickels does not dissolve. Second to last, and finally, Star Bright. Six nickels. Pretty strong, does not dissolve. And man, <laughs> you're gonna know when you wipe with this stuff because you're gonna feel it for a while. It's a little rough. What's on? Uh, I guess Boone. He tries to find the most comfortable position to land. I'm not sure that that's it, but... Oh, hi. Hey there, buddy. All right. That's it for our experiment. Personal preference, like I said, Scots. 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 <laughs> Scots Rapid Dissolving Toilet Paper is my personal favorite. Followed up by probably Grinte, although it's a little rough. It's at least strong. Yeah. Appreciate the strength. Gotta have that good strength. Mm -hmm. Let us know if you want us to do like traditional toilet paper to see if it dissolves in strength and how it compares because I totally will. I know a lot of people have mentioned to me on Instagram that they use like, I think it's Angel Soft. Mm. Just normal toilet paper. You should probably use, you know, RV or Marine recommended toilet paper because you go out there and you dump that black tank, you want that stuff to get out of there. You don't want to hang it around in your tank. I also think that liquid comes into play here. Because if you don't have enough liquid in your tank, it doesn't matter what kind of toilet paper you have, it's not going to dissolve. Yeah. So make yeah. sure you're running enough water in it, otherwise you're definitely going to have poop mountain. Yeah. No mm -hmm. one wants that. You don't want poop mountain. Okay. Catch you guys later. He's got to go use this roll of toilet paper. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>